Lesson 9, Evaluating and Comparing Algebraic Expressions. So we're going to go over different types of expressions. The first one's called a numeric expression. A numeric expression is just any expression that contains only numbers and operations. Here's an example of a numeric expression. 7 minus 3 <coughs> equals 4. Notice that it only has numbers and it has operations, subtract, subtraction. Now we have what's called an algebraic expression. In order to be algebraic, the expression must contain variables. So it's any expression um, with variables <coughs> and numbers. It doesn't have to have numbers, but it has to have variables that uses operations. So the operations that we know are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So here's an example of an algebraic expression. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. <coughs> <coughs> We're going to do a couple of examples where we must evaluate the expression. This is a lot like substitution. So here's an example. We have 2 and then in parentheses a plus z and your parentheses and cube it minus z squared. We want a to be equal to 3 and z equal to 2. So what I do is I just rewrite the problem, but instead of writing a, I write a 3. Instead of writing a z, I'll write a 2. So 2 and then parentheses, I have 3 plus 2 and parentheses and cube it <coughs> minus 2 squared. So we simplify within parentheses, and that is a 5 cubed minus 2 squared. With our um, order of operations, we want to simplify the exponents first. So we have 2 times 125 minus 4. 2 times 125 is 250 minus 4, and the answer would be 246. One more example where we need to evaluate a minus 2b a squared for a equal to negative 1 and b equal to 2. Because a is a negative 1, every time I see an a and I replace it with negative 1, I'm going to put it in parentheses. So I have negative 1 in parentheses minus 2. I'm going to go ahead and put the b in parentheses and the a in parentheses, negative 1, and square it. Negative 1 squared is just equal to 1 and we have negative 1 minus 2 times 2 times 1. 2 times 2 times 1 is 4. Negative 1 minus 4. You can think of the subtraction as an addition problem, and it would be negative 1 plus a negative 4, and the answer is negative 5. That's the end of the lesson.